going into Friday's uh, non-farm payroll numbers, um, we have a very interesting setup here for the dollar. Uh, we have been getting the exact pullback that we have been expecting for the dollar for this week. And the same way that we got the pullback that we were expecting uh, for last week. And as the week went on, the pullback uh, increased in its depth. Uh, we're seeing the same thing here. Uh, the interesting thing that we have here now is that uh, for this pullback, very similar to the pullback that we got uh, last week, the pullback dropped below both the 20 period moving average and the 50 period moving average. We're having that same exact setup here now because we dropped below the 20 period moving average and now we have dropped below the 50 period moving average. Uh, what happened at the end of the week last week is that on Friday, uh, it shot through uh, back through the 50 pair moving average and the 200 pair moving average uh, and the 20 pair moving average as uh, we got ready to close out last week. So it ended the week above both of those moving averages. So what we're going to be looking for is on this breakdown, will we get price? Because even on this breakdown that we got that we got last week, this breakdown never made it back down uh, to its weekly open. Right now, before non-farm payrolls come out, uh, we are already right above. Uh, the weekly open. The weekly open is at 106, uh, 174. So 106, uh, 174. And so right now we're at 106, 418. So we're uh, very close to weekly open. So when these numbers come out, if these numbers come out as bearish as they are expected, because we have both numbers coming out, we have the um, non farm payroll numbers uh, as far as for. Uh, the normal ones uh, as as far as uh, for the um, uh, month of September, but then we also have the private numbers uh, as well. So the non-farm payroll numbers for the month of September uh, are expected to come on and at only 170,000, whereas last uh, reporting it was at 187,000. So that is a drop of 17,000 for non-farm payrolls and non-farm payrolls private, those numbers at Fire were 179, 179 K, whereas this time they're expected to come in at only 160 K. Now, what could happen? What could happen is that we could have a beat for both of those numbers and having a beat for both of those numbers. We can get a bounce very similar to the one that we got last week where it avoided its weekly open and then pushed up off of its weekly open to close. We can get that same thing because, again, we're already very close. Uh, to our weekly open. So instead, we can get a rejection, if you will, of the weekly open as that price bounces uh, if we beat those numbers. So uh, the expectations, uh, we know those expectations. So if those numbers come in uh, better than what is expected, we can expect a nice bounce uh, going into the weekend. If those numbers do not meet those expectations or if they come in at those negative expectations, then we can see this drop down uh, not only to uh, this uh, uh, minor quarter area that it has avoided this entire week after shooting through it at the top of the week. Um, we can also see a breakdown coming back down to uh, the weekly open. And then if price does come back down to the weekly open, this could be the uh, very first week in 11 weeks where the dollar does not end up uh, continuing that streak. So the dollar has been on an 11 week streak. Uh, this would be the 12th week. Uh, with that, uh, this could be the week that that streak does indeed break. If that streak does indeed break, then we will uh, be uh, watching that. We'll watch for uh, what those areas uh, are where as far as if you have a long positions in, as far as longer term positions, not the uh, shorter term uh, swing trades that we've been doing. If you have longer term positions, we'll begin to uh, st uh, start assessing those uh, to see what the likelihood of needing uh, to uh, transition those positions are based upon what the environment gives us uh, on this uh, Friday. So that's what we're looking at right now for the dollar setup. We also have for the UC idea, we talked about this one earlier today, where it lost that major quarter area. Again, losing a major quarter area is very important. It came back down uh, to this minor area with holding this minor area and it's 20 pair moving average. We are seeing that because of the weakness that we're seeing in the Canadian dollar. With that, we do have the Canadian dollar reporting uh, this uh, Friday as well, tomorrow as well, at the same exact time. And the report that is expected there is uh, uh, their uh, net change in employment numbers as well as their unemployment rates. So both of those numbers um, are uh, 
being both of those numbers are being expected tomorrow. And so we'll see kind of how the market decides to respond to those numbers. And with that being said, we also have uh, the UJ idea again, which was alerted uh, inside of Discord today, which indeed uh, it lost uh, the 149 area as well. And after losing the 149 area, it did uh, continue to uh, hold as far as uh, underneath the minor quarter area as well. But the one thing that uh, we pointed out about the UJ idea is that uh, the UJ idea uh, was resting upon uh, its 100 per moving average, but also it is down for the week. The UJ idea is down for the week. So the trend is already different shorter term here for the UJ idea than it is simply just for the dollar index. So the dollar index is a whole lot stronger than uh, the UJ idea, the UJ idea is a lot weaker than uh, what the uh, dollar index is. And so right now we have it resting upon the 100 moving average if that uh, area is to break. We then will be testing last week's open. And if we break last week's open, that's when selling will begin. Because when you think about it psychologically, those individuals that bought at a particular price last week, they are no longer going to be up on their positions. And so instead of uh, selling those positions at a loss, they rather sell those positions for a very small gain um, versus carrying those positions into the losses, which ends up uh, being what causes for those massive sell-offs when price goes back to prior uh, weeks open. And so that's why those areas are important to mark off, important to note. And so that's what we're seeing for the dollar going into Friday. So we are uh, paying very close attention to uh, what those what that report comes in uh, at at eight thirty, and we will make all of our decisions based upon what that report is and based upon uh, what levels the price is at at that time.